Well, well, well. Look who's here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Howdy. Thank you once again for uh, tuning in to this particular uh, corner of YouTube. It is a big day. Big day. Today is Chip's winter lecture at Letchworth State Park. That's fun to say. It is. The lecture is about? Uh, forest therapy. But Captain, wait a minute. You know what's more exciting than that? What? There could be 26 foot waves on Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. I mean, that's incredible. <laughs> that too. So that's exciting. Um, this is the first time you've done something like this. Yeah, I never had the honor of being a part of the lecture series at Letchworth. I'm pretty excited about it. So we're on our way now. And uh, one of the things that's interesting is the sun is shining here right now, but a good portion of our area is under a winter weather warning. Yeah. So who knows what could happen? Watch out. Mostly I'm excited because sometimes at this thing they have free hot cocoa. So, um, I mean, I'm also obviously really excited for, for Chip <laughs> and his forest therapy lecture. Um, but I'm just saying, additionally, there is that opportunity for free hot chocolate. Well, if I'm gonna be honest, I'm more excited about the hot chocolate too. <laughs> These are the real ones. <laughs> These have been outlawed. King size. Oh God, so good. Jerry, explain the community tree. So the community tree. Most of us have a memory uh, as a, of a tree, either, either as a child or as an adult, that means something significant to us. And so one of the things that I like to do when I start uh, a lecture is talk a little about some of those nature things that are special to us, and specifically about trees, because trees play a significant role in our development, both as youth and adults. And so this is an opportunity for people to talk about a tree, write a little note about a tree that's meant something to them. So for example, I wrote about the large uh, sugar maple that's in my grandparents' uh, yard that I spent a lot of time in climbing and swinging in. And so the community tree is an opportunity for people to share their tree story. How does that connect to forest therapy? So the idea, um, again, with forest therapy is that we're trying to further develop a relational experience. So understanding that we are a part of nature and that we have connections to nature beyond just uh, the corporate mindset of utility, right? We are connected in many ways. Um, both in the heart and in the head. And so the community tree is an opportunity for people to reflect on a tree that's meant something to them here and here. I feel, I feel good. Well, thank you for asking. I'm, I'm happy that uh, I can't believe the attendance. For everyone who came, thanks so much. That was That's wild. You braved the wind and a little bit of snow that we have here in western, western Wyoming County. It was awesome. Well, thanks. <laughs> I thought it went so well and I'd never actually, I'd never seen it. Like I'd never seen you give no, a presentation no. like that. So it was really cool to see. Well, thank you. I, very objective on your part. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, still, I've still never seen it before. No, I appreciate it. So that. it was just cool to see it all yeah. come together, and I was very excited for you. I was excited to see all the people who came and had friends come, and it was awesome. Yeah, it was it was wild, and the, you know, actually, it was it was sort of nice because the weather, the weather, even though it's windy, 
because we couldn't go outside and do anything. But right. but I could draw people's attention to outside. Yeah. And because the wind was so so strong, it exaggerated some of the some of the points that are pointing out. So right. It was great. Well, and the other thing too is in the nature center they have those great big windows, so you yeah. can see outside. Yeah. You feel a little bit outside while you're inside. Yeah, you sure do. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you you so did much. it. And I'm glad that we could highlight a little bit of it. And if people are interested, they can go to your website. I may do another lecture, maybe some walks with the park in the summer. Awesome. Yeah. We will keep you posted. So long. <laughs>